Box Trick, where today we are taking a look at Star Wars Episode One Racer for the Nintendo 64. It's recently been revealed that Star Wars Episode One Racer is going to be coming to Nintendo Switch and PS4, so I thought let's take a look at this classic game. Episode One Racer is a pod racing game from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace kind of hit or miss with some people some people really like the pod racing other people not so much but this game takes all of the aspects of the pod race we see at the boon to eve classic and puts it into an entire game you get to play on eight different levels and i think it plays really well it's really fast and really dangerous as jedi master qui-gon jinn would say and it plays a lot like wipeout or another n64 game f0 X. It features all of the racers shown in the movie, but you're probably just going to end up using Anakin Skywalker. The game features three different modes, a tournament mode in which you compete in a championship, uh, racing throughout all of the different levels, earning money, which you can use to upgrade your ship or buy repair droids. You can use it later to unlock tracks and new racers. Free race, which allows you to play and practice any race you've already unlocked and Time Attack, which pits the player against the clock, racing along to compete the fastest time on any course. So there are a few different versions of this game. The gameplay I'm showing here is from the N64 version. It was also released on PC at the time, as well as the Sega Dreamcast. You can play it today. It's been re-released on Steam, and of course, it's going to be coming to Nintendo Switch here on May the 12th, as well as PlayStation 4. Four. But if you're looking to play it in its original format, you could probably find a cart on eBay for roughly eight to ten dollars if you do still want to play it on the N64. As far as N64 racers go, uh, it's actually kind of tough to place it. I could certainly say that it's a top 10 N64 racer, and that's certainly saying something. On the Dreamcast, it's probably a top 5 racing game, but being a top 10 N64 racing game is certainly nothing to scoff at with other great games like Mario Kart 64, F-Zero X, Diddy Kong Racing, I mean, and the list just goes on. Or you can check it out on Steam or on PlayStation 4 or Switch upcoming as it's going to be released for roughly $15. That's probably the way I would recommend playing it today. But if you're a collector, look out for that cart for around $8 to $10 on eBay. I appreciate you guys watching and may the force be with you. If you like this episode, be sure to hit that subscribe button or check out our podcast on iTunes or come hang out on Twitch. We'll see you next time. And as always, thanks for watching.